about is 2008, you're playing the Buccaneers and you have a, you have a receiving touchdown yeah. and who came up with, you know, who, who, who implemented that play? Cause I, I personally don't know Herm Edwards, but I don't know if that's a Herm Edwards type play. No, no, that's definitely a Chan Gailey. Um, okay. It was one of those things where I always joked about, it. I was like, we got to put a, you know, a throwback to the quarterback in. And we had started running some of that, um, some of the uh, wildcat offense with Jamal Charles. Right. We pretty much, you know, during that week, they finally, you know, were like, all right, we're going to put it in. And, you know, it was my job essentially was to kind of come off the line and essentially let the DB shoot, the, you know, more or less inside and kind of try to make a play, whatever, on the run game. And then, I, you know, after we had ran two plays in the Wildcat, pretty much I had said to Ch- Coach Gailey, I was like, they're not respecting me. They're just shooting inside. And sure enough, obviously we ran the play. And actually Jamal kind of almost fumbled the ball. Or fumbled it, yeah. Pitched it to um, Bradley. Whatever. Mark Bradley. Yeah. Mark Bradley. He kind of fumbled the ball. So I think, too, that kind of um, – uh, what's his name? Um, shoot. Ran a barber. Um, right. Rondé Barber, Randy whatever, Barber pretty much saw him kind of fumbling the ball. So he took off and at that point, you know, I pretty much, well, as soon as he went, I was gone. And, you know, when Mark, uh, it was actually funny because the first day on Wednesday of practice that week, I actually dropped the pass or whatever, um, in practice or whatever. And wow. I was just embarrassed at that point. I'm like, there's no way that they're ever going to call it. And obviously I called it in Friday's, you know, kind of run through practice or whatever. But, um, it was one of those things where it just ended up working out perfect. So that was pretty Pretty special moment. I got people that always ask me about that, so that was pretty special for me. Yeah, a, a big, a big time touchdown. One of the longest receiving passes out of a quarterback in NFL history. So that's always a good one. I see that on my timeline of the uh, Mark Bradley. Did, you know, almost fumbling it, almost running yeah. the play, but uh, but, but uh, luckily down, you man. caught it. Uh, but what was what was going through your mind as you saw the ball coming towards you? Were you thinking, "Do not drop this pass"? No, I, re- I really wasn't. I was like, I was just sitting there thinking, "This is touchdown," because I was, or more or less, I was saying, "Mark, don't overthrow me," kind of thing. Um, but I mean, he threw a perfect ball, and you know, I was able to catch it. And honestly, when I caught it, I went running, I kind of running to go into the stands. And this is kind of when the NFL started doing more of a fine system. And I was right. like, "If I jump in the stands, they're going to find me." So I kind of jumped up the stands. And like as I'm doing that, I'm not. I don't want to lose any money, so I've kind of pushed myself back out or whatever, you know. Instead of jumping in the stands, 